Dan. Dan, well, big congratulations. After the Tour and La Vuelta, the stage of the Giro is there. What's the feeling? Sorry? After the stages on the Tour and on La Vuelta, the sta stage victory on the Giro is there. What's the feeling with that? I mean, it's incredible. You know, it's uh, we came here with the idea of winning a stage, and it's always easier said than done, especially when there's so many stages that go for the breakaway. And finally, I was allowed to go in the breakaway by the peloton. And... Uh, I thought we were going to get caught, you know, because the, the headwind in the valley was so strong and we were all working really well together, but the peloton was just coming back at us and yeah, it was uh, really not good for the morale. And, but I knew when we got to the bottom of the last climb that if I just rode my tempo, that I had a chance. And yeah, in the end, it's, uh, we managed to hang on. Yeah, you managed to hang on, knowing that there was Simon Yes and Raul Almeida coming back. Were you scared in the last kilometers? I didn't get any time check in the last two two kilometers, you know. So, but I, I knew the climb from a recon we did that if I got to the top, if I got to two and a half k to go with 20, 30 seconds, I, I had a really big chance because it was a lot easier from there. And I also knew that if I the guys behind, they would be attacking full gas in the steepest section, and then that really hurts the legs afterwards. So I rode my tempo on the steep section, and then when it flattened off, I really went really went full gas and. Uh, I mean, that tactic really paid off at the end, and uh, yeah, I just, I just can't believe I held on. This morning we were talking about the change uh, for you coming into Israel, the change of mindset. Seems really to pay, to pay out, no? I'm just, I'm just happy, you know. We're, we have such a great team atmosphere, we're relaxed, and we race well together. And the guys committed 100% to put me in the breakaway this morning. They really believed in me. The whole team believes in me, and, uh, and yeah, we're enjoying, enjoying racing, you know. And, I, like I said from the start, I really, I don't feel any pressure from a personal point either. I'm just, at this point in my career, I've won so many big races that another victory, uh, although this is huge for me because obviously it's, a, it's my first win in the Giro and now I have a victory in all three Grand Tours and that's, now it really feels like it's complete, you know, my set of victories and uh, so it's even less pressure now, I guess. Everybody needs to be careful because I'm just, I'm just racing with freedom and yeah, if I win, I win. If I don't, I don't. It's, it doesn't change my life any. And uh, I'm just really, really happy to have, have got this victory for the whole team. And just to conclude then, there's four days left. What about them? What to do? We'll see. I don't need to go in the break anymore. So <laughs> I think it'll be difficult for me to go in the break from now. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, tomorrow's a very long day. And then we have two hard mountain stages. So yeah, I'll try and take it as easy as possible tomorrow. And then uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do over the weekend. Thank you very much, Dan. Big congratulations. You start the recording? You start it back?